Audio. Let me clarify more. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf i khalqi Allahi al-Ma'in Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasbeem al-Kathira Today inshallah we are going to discuss one of the commonest scenarios or cases that appear in basis exam lower limbs examinations uh, before I proceed further in my case what I need from you to pass this basic exam what I need from you to focus in the skills and to know from where the examiners they are giving you your marks based on these skills they will assess you whether you are satisfied borderline or unsatisfied that is why don't think about the diagnosis Think about the, the skills. No examiner is going to ask you what is the diagnosis. But say, as soon as you finish your examination technique, you will take four mark for examination technique. Then after that, four mark for welfare. As soon as you give your face to the examiners, they will ask you three questions. What is your finding? What is your differential diagnosis for this finding? And what is the plan of benefits? Examiners they are asking you this examination the skills technique number two welfare number three is a uh, finding number four differential diagnosis of this finding number five is a uh, plan of many each one of these skills equal four marks, the total mass is 20. Now I'm going to talk about lower limbs, one of the cases that come in the CNS lower limbs examinations. Hello, good morning. Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Adam, I would like to examine you. During my examination, if you feel any pain or discomfort, let me know. Take two steps away. Then after that, you will come to do general observation first for around the patient, then observation inside the patient for WASFA, W for wasting, S for any scar, F for fasciculation, A for any abnormalities, like as you see here, there is abnormal glowing of the tooth, and there is high arched foot giving with this case. The first step is an inspection for waswa, wasting waswa, wasting scar fasciculations and any abnormal shape. Then I will come to the tone power reflexes coordination sensation. The sequence of examination technique in lower limbs and our limbs is tone power reflexes coordination sensation. Tone, tone around the hip, tone around the knee, tone around the ankle, tone around the hip. Do you have any pain? No, I will start like this. This is around the hip. Then here also. I will come tone around the knee. Tone around the knee three. Number one, flexion, extension. Then here also, flexion, yes, extension. Then rolling, 
like this here also like this I will do rolling while my eyes is looking to the food if the food is moving like this this is hypotonia if it is moved as one unit this is hypertonia election extensions rolling and lifting see and this is the most important test to identify and to say 100 percent this lady she has got hypotonia if this lady is hypertonia i will lift the limbs like this she will it will move as one as one unit see this is the hypotonia then i will come to the tone around the ankle by movement of the ankle like this only then i finish tone around the hip Turn around the knee three, flexion extension, rolling and lifting, then around the ankle by this, by this movement. Then I will come turn power reflexes. Power. Can you raise your both legs up, please? After I review the painful knowledge. To check for power against the movement against gravity. Then I will come <coughs> to check against resistance up and down out and in this is around the hip around the knee flexion extension around the ankle in up down out and in let us take it yalla therefore up up against me yes up 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 yes then down yes then out then in then i will come to the knees the knee like this yell in in out then i will come here also in then out then i will come here huh up therefore you cannot do it oh, down Okay, here, up, then here, down, she cannot do. Out, in, okay, in, out, she cannot do. That means this lady, she has got a weakness. The shape of this weakness, distally more weaker than proximal. Abductor, more weaker than adductor. Out, out, very weak. In. Yeah. Abductor is more weaker than abductor, distally more weaker than proximal. This is both upper and lower motor neural legion signs, they are sharing this points. Distally more weaker than proximal. Abductor more weaker than abductor. Both of them are same in this points. The difference is where in patients with upper motor neuron lesions, the flexors are more weaker than extensors. I mean that the patients of upper motor neuron lesion, he cannot move his thighs, his thighs up. Any person, if you say to him up, 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 he cannot move his thighs up. This is upper motor neuron lesion shape weakness, what we call in medicine pyramidal shape weakness. While if the patient having lower motor neuron lesions like this lady, <coughs> the extensors <coughs> are more weaker <coughs> than the flexors. That means if you ask it, him to push his thighs down, down lower, he cannot do, he cannot push his thighs lower. Huh? Up, stronger, down, very weak. You will come here also, you will get the extensor, huh? Out, very weak. In, <coughs> stronger. Any patients with lower motor neuron lesions, he cannot extend his, his size or his extension of his legs, extensions of his legs. I mean that extensors are more weaker than the flexor. Prominently, you will get it around the, around the knee. 
prominently around the knee. Any person, if you meet any person, he cannot push <coughs> his thigh up, out like this extensor, uh, out, very weak, in. This is lower motor neuron medium shape weakness in which there is distally more weaker than proximally. Adductor is more weaker than adductor. And extensors are more weaker than the flexors, mainly around the, around the knee. Ton power reflexes. Then I will come to the reflexes. I will start three reflexes. Number one, knee, ankle. Number two, plantar. Reflex. Number three, clones. I will come to the knee reflex. Two expose. Expose the muscles first, then expose the tendon here. Then I will lift, huh? and I will percuss like this. The, you, you have to take the hammer like this. Clean your teeth, please, like this. Yes. If you got patient having hyperreflexia or reflexia, ask him to clench his teeth. Yes, uh -huh. again, same. Then I will come to around the ankle. I have to flex the knee like this, then gentle extension like this. Then I will take my hand like this. Then I will move. Huh? Clean your teeth. Here also, I will do like that. Flexion, gentle external rotation like this. Then I will bring my hand like this. Yeah. Clean your teeth, yes. Then <coughs> I finish in the hammer. I will come to the up going plantar reflex. Excuse me, I would like to move this sharp uh, object on the heel of your foot might be a little bit discomfort. Then, if you did not take permission from this lady, and you did plantar reflex, and this lady, she said, ah, forget that you will pass this exam easy. Take permission from the, from the patient first. Excuse me, can I move it? Yes. Then the movement from out and, and towards the medial aspect of the foot like this here also like this and here link your heart and concentrate and focus in the big two because the cause of the death inside this exam is finding most of the people died in this basis because of finding if you miss this big two up going or mute or down going say examiner as soon as you finish your exam, they will ask you to present your finding. If you link your heart to the steps, and I will do this, then this, see, it is mute plantar. You are thinking about the next step. Tandoor reflexes. Examiner, he, when he asks you to present your finding, you will not present this mute plantar. Why? Because at the time that you got this new plantar, your brain is linked with something else called the steps of examinations. That is why train yourself on, it, on the steps of examinations. When you come to the exam, you will come making your brain free only to pick up the finding. You will not be busy with technique of examinations. You will be busy only for picking up the findings and you will do the technique of examination subconsciously automatically without thinking about the next step your heart will be only linked for or linking to the to the to the to the finding let me now turn power reflexes i finish the hammer reflex uh, the knee and ankle reflex plantar reflex i will come to the clonus one, two, three. Then here also. One, two, three. I finish my reflexes, tone, power reflexes, coordination sensations. I will come to the coordinations. Can you move the heel of this 
foot on the shin of the other leg, please. Hurry, get it, get it, While your eyes is opening, when the eye is closed, then do it while your eyes is closed. Yes. Again here. When your eye, your eyes is opening. Okay, very good. Okay, close your eyes. One minute. Close your eyes. Shh. Yes. If you notice this lady, finish. She can do these coordinations while her eyes is opening. But if she close her eyes to the coordinations, can you move the heel of this foot on the leg of this, on the shin of uh, the heel of this foot on the shin of this leg, please? Move it. While your eyes is opening. Then, now close your eyes. If this lady, the coordination cannot be done while her eyes is closed or in bed while her, eye, her eyes is closed and it is intact while her eyes is opening, indicating that this lady, she has got sensory ataxia. If this, if the person, he can do these coordinations, normally he can move the heel of the foot like this, normally. While his eyes opening, this is mean, that is good, no problem. If she cannot do it, while her eyes is closed, this is sensory ataxia. That means the joint position is lost. But if she cannot do it while her eyes is opening like this, this is called cerebellar ataxia. Again, if her eyes is open and she crossing her foot like this, her feet like this, <coughs> This is cerebellar ataxia. If she close her eyes and she cross her feet together, this is sensory ataxia. That means the joint position is impaired. Let me now continue. Done power reflexes, coordination, sensations. Sensation, I will start by, before I go to the sensation, any sensations lost below the anterior, superior, iliac, spine and down, this is peripheral neuropathy. And any sensation exceeding the anterior superior iliac spine, that means the problem in the spinal cord, most likely this is sensory limit. That is why I will start by the light touch. I'm going to touch you here, an example. Yes, uh -huh. yes. I'm going to close your eyes. I'm going to feel you by this uh, button uh, piece. If you feel it, let me know. As soon as you feel it, let me know. Is a hasseti a kalimni? Here also? Yes. Like the above, the year before? Not like the above? Okay, I'm going to move up. As soon as it becomes like that in your face, let me know. Here they like the above? Yes. Okay, again, here. Okay, thank you. Then I will come to the uh, big brick. Do you feel this? Yes. Again, okay, here also. Big brick, it is better to press here in the clavicle while the cotton, cotton uh, in the face. No more. Then here. Again, do you feel it? Do you feel Hassan? Like the above, there before. When it become like the above, let me know. Okay, thank you. Both of them are looking same. Let me the ibad. Kullahim the ibad. Kullahim. Thank you. Then I will come to the five patients. I'm going to feel you. As soon as you feel it, let me know. Okay? Hassaha? You feel it? Hassaha? They are before? Okay, I'm going to. If it, if it is stopped, let me. I'm going to move up, okay? When it become like the above, let me know. Huh? They are like the above. Okay. If she stop, let me know. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Here also. 
base of the big two, hmm? medial modules. Here also. Uh -huh. So, what do you see here? Uh -huh. All of it? Yeah. Yes. Then I will come to the joint positions. <coughs> see, this is up and this is down. Huh? Yeah. This is yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> this lady, on examination of this lady, she has got in the both lower limbs. She has got a signs of lower motor neural lesions and the coordination is intact with eye opening, lost when she closes her eyes. At the same time, she has got loss of all modalities of sensations up to the up to the knees. Later I will come to the presentations. Any CNS. All the CNS cases, all the CNS cases, whether upper limbs or lower limbs. All the CNS cases, whether upper limbs or lower limbs, divided into three stations. Station one, station two, station three. Number one, in the first station, second, and third. What you will do, the first station signs, and after the presentation, any all the cases of CNS divided into three stations, with exception of cerebellar presentations, cerebellar affection presentation, Parkinsonism, cranial nerves, and uh, this is and uh, need a specific presentation. But here, either lower limbs or either upper limbs examinations. If you go to any exam, Irish basis, any exam, and you examine the upper limb or lower limbs. Your presentation will be dependent on three stations. First station is signs of lower, lower motor neuron lesion or upper motor neuron lesion or mix it, or mix it. Then above from that, the coordination, the coordination. Above from that, the sensation. I will come to, to to clarify more. You will not come to these stations unless you present your inspecting finding first. And when you present your inspecting finding, it is better to use has. <coughs> Excuse me. On examination of this lady, I will start first by has. Has for inspecting <coughs> finding. On examination of this lady, she has, if there is walking aid beside him, you will, this is good impressions, will give the uh, examiner good impression about him. If she has walking aid beside her, mention it, she has walking aid, she has got wasting in both lower limbs, mainly distally, stop in the lower third of the thighs. She has got clawing of the toes, as you see. She has got bilateral bis capers, and she has got a scar above the left, uh, above the left uh, medial malleus. In the both lower limbs, after I finish in the has, I will come to the three stations. In the both lower limbs bilaterally, this lady, she has got a signs of lower motor neuron lesions in the form of wasting, Double H hypotonia, hypo reflexia, mute glanter, and weakness. The shape of this weakness is mainly distally more weaker than proximally. Abductor is more weaker than adductor. And extensors, extensors are more weaker than the flexors, mainly around the knee. Apart from that, Coordination is intact with eye opening, lost when she closes her eyes. Apart from that, there is loss of all modalities of sensations for light touch, bimbering, joint position, and vibrations up to the knees. 
My summary for this lady, she has got the feature consistent with bilateral symmetrical peripheral sensory motor neuropathy for differential deadlocks. I would like to complete my neurological examinations by examining the upper limbs, cranial nerve, cerebellum, back, and the gait of the patients. Again, any CNS, don't say you want, you want to pass. This is the presentation. Any CNS, whether upper or lower limbs. Serious steps. One, two, three, by one. With exceptions of cerebellum, cranial nerve. Cranial nerve usually, uh, this patient has evidence of based on evidence of based on this is a, this is a presentation of uh, cranial crane forget about it let me come back to this lower limbs three steps if you miss these steps your presentation will not be nicely imagine that this is our motor neuron a patient has passive parabaris or having anything uh, spastic parabaris as example for any reason, complete core transaction. Also say all examination of this gentleman has signs of in the both lower limbs bilaterally, I will localize the area so as to take my risk. In the both lower limbs bilaterally, there is as example, complete core transaction, spastic parabaris. I will say wallahi, this gentleman in the both lower limbs there is signs of our motor neuron lesion in the form of double H double B. Hyper, zonia, hyper, reflexia, pyramidal shape, weakness, and positive upgoing, positive babaliski signs with <coughs> ankle clones above from the coordination cannot be assessed because of the weakness above from the there is loss of all sensation, modality of sensation up to the Ambalai of to the Zyphisternum as examples. My summary is spastic parabaris with complete core transition. Now, in the lower limbs, in all lower limbs, you can get three possibilities. Either pure lower motor neuron signs like this lady, or pure upper motor neuron lesions, or mixing like Frederick's ataxia, vitamin B, subacute combined degenerations, and and you will do examination of this gentleman has in the both lower limbs there is signs of upper motor in the form of and signs of lower motor in the form of above from that coordination is impaired or intact above from that there is sensory loss up to this area that is why to summarize you on examination of this lady now <coughs> I will present like that has and in the on examination of this lady, she has walking head beside her. She has wasting in both lower limbs bilaterally. She has got cloning of the tooth. She bilaterally, she has got high arched feet, high arched foot, biscuits bilaterally. She has got a scar above the left medial malleus. In the both lower limbs bilaterally, I localize the place, I will take my rest. In the both lower limbs bilaterally, this lady, she has got a signs of lower motor neuron lesion in the form of hypotonia, hyporeflexia, mute plantar, and hypotonia, hyporeflexia, and wasting. She has got signs of lower motor neuron lesion in the form of wasting, hypotonia, hyporeflexia, mute plantar, and weakness. The shape of this weakness is distally more weaker than proximally. Extensors are more weaker than the flexors, and abductor is more weaker than adductor. Apart from that, coordination is intact with eye opening lost when she closed her eyes. Apart from that, there is stocking distribution of sensor loss for all modalities of sensation up to the up to the knees. My summary. This lady, she has got bilateral, <coughs> symmetrical, peripheral, sensory motor neuropathy for differential diagnosis. I would like to complete my neurological examination by examining the upper limbs, cranial nerve, cerebellum, back, and gait. Examiner, he will ask you, you did good clinical examination technique you took four months. Welfare 
four months. I put in my pocket eight months I didn't open my mouth. Then as soon as I finish my examination, I will give my face to the examiners. I will say to the examiners, I know that you are going to ask me FDB, finding differential diagnosis of this finding and plan of management. Any question other than this three is extra mark questions. What is your finding? I mentioned it. Differential diagnosis of this finding. What is this differential diagnosis of peripheral sensory motor neuropathy in this lady? In view of this scaphus, cloning of the tooth, and the shape of the wasting, top of my differential diagnosis is hereditary sensory motor neuropathy, what we call charcot Marie tooth disease. What else? I will say to him could be diabetes, alcohol, vasculitis, vitamin B12 deficiency, uremia, or even high both thyroidism or drugs. Examiner, he will ask me what is the plan of management for this lady. Apart from basic investigations, I will do for her nerve conduction study, EMG, and genetic test. Nerve conduction study, <coughs> EMG, and genetic genetic test. Examiners, and I also I will do for her fasting blood sugar hemoglobin A1C, checking the RFT for uremia and vitamin B12 for vitamin B12 deficiency or autoimmune screen for vasculitis. Examiner, he will ask you what is the benefits of Nerve conduction study in patients with charcot Marie tooth disease other than to confirm the peripheral sensory neuropathy. Here is to identify the type of sensory motor neuropathy, to identify the type of hereditary sensory motor neuropathy, because they are different types. <coughs> type 1 and type 3 are demyelinating disease. Type 2 is axonal is axonal, the, 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 the uh, axonal peripheral neurons. That is why <coughs> examiner here, he will ask you, what is the treatments, the treatments of any patient in the CNS, if the examiners in the CNS, all the cases, with ex all the cases, if the examiner asks you, what is the treatment, the treatment is multidisciplinary team treatment in the form of physiotherapist, occupational therapist, specialized staff nurse, social worker, and neurologist. Physiotherapist, occupational uh, therapist, social worker, specialized staff nurse, and, and neurologist. Then two treatment. Treatment of the underlying cause and treatment of the, of the complications. Treatment of the underlying cause and treatment of the, of the complications. As I said to you that, uh, regarding the charcot Marie tooth disease, if you focus with me, glowing of the tooth and this clear biscafus, and there is, if you focus with me, the shape of the wasting is, wasting is going like this, stop in the lower third of the, of the thighs. Very common scenario, very, very common case in the basis, an Irish, an Irish exam. That is why, uh, then if the mirror, if he asked you, give me another, uh, what test you would like to do, other, I see, I need to do for this lady to check her gait, <coughs> to look for high stability gait, and to do positive. Give me one test, Romberg test. <coughs> Romberg test, if this lady, she stand like this, and close her eyes, she will, she will fail down because of loss of joint, of joint positions. See you, inshallah, another session. Goodbye.